guys, today we are going to be making a spoiler for this Porsche build. The spoilers are about $1,500 new, two grand, $1,500, and it's, it's just a little like three inch lip that comes off this deck. Uh, I'm obviously not going to spend that when I can make my own. So I'm going to make the spoiler itself out of steel, and then we'll just mold it to it, and uh, hopefully it works out. Because I'm definitely not spending that much for a spoiler. Let's go! So, here's how the spoiler works on these. They actually bolt into your deck lid. Um, they have two types. There's a standard, and then there's what they call a whale tail. The standard only comes about an inch off of the deck lid. It just kind of goes around it. It almost looks like a rubber molding, to be honest with you. Just bolts in. And then they have a whale tail, which comes out normal, and then it flares way up. I've seen different versions of how big the tail is. I've seen some that are real big, and I don't like those very much. So I'm going to combine the two. I'm going to kind of make it standard size, but have a little bit of an upturn to it. So it's going to kind of be my own thing. The only problem I have, this is fiberglass, and I'm going to make it out of metal. So I'm going to make a metal form and then fiberglass it to it. I tried to buy a used one from a couple guys. They couldn't track them down or they had the wrong ones or they were broke or whatever. So I've been waiting on a spoiler for almost two months now and uh, I'm not gonna wait anymore. We're gonna just knock one out. So I need to make a form around this first. Then I can take my form over my plasma cutter and start kind of cutting out my metal and see what the shape looks like. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoor, forever free.
base is done. Got probably a day of sanding and body work and paint and all that stuff uh, before it's done, but I'll do that in another video. You can technically make the mold out of like a styrofoam or even like a cardboard and then just put the fiberglass over the top of it so they would have you know the, the fiberglass is actually really strong but i always like to use metal instead i'm better with metal for one not only that i know it's strong i did the same thing with the front bumper the front bumper is actually all metal in the front and then i put the fiberglass over the top of it to kind of smooth it out these are so big they stick out so much i kind of wanted to have, be able to you know have some strength to it just in case somebody bumps into it or sits on it or whatever thank you guys very much for watching please like share subscribe all that shit they tell you to do at the end of videos and uh check out some of my other videos peace